Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on White Coats and Corgis. Today I'm going to show you a clip from the Pre-Med Experience, which is a free event I created and hosted back in March 2023. The goal of this event was to connect pre-med students with admissions experts and make their advice a little bit more accessible. We talked with admissions committee members, deans of medical school admissions, and MCAT tutors. Today's clip is from our very last session of the day called Real Truth with Real Medical Students. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, uh, good to see you all again, and thank you to our medical students for joining. Again, I'm Dan. I am a second year um, internal medicine resident, and I'll be moderating the panel. So I'll be looking for questions in the Q&A portion below. But first, again, I want to thank our medical students for joining us, and I'm going to go one by one, and you just introduce yourself if you can, and um, tell us what year you're in, and maybe what specialty you're interested in. And the first person I see here is Angela. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited. My name is Angela Rakowski. I'm a rising third year. I'm at Rush in Chicago, and I'm currently interested in OBGYN or neurology, keeping an open mind. Um, definitely very excited for rotations. Awesome. Um, next, I see Brooke. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Brooke, Brooklyn. I am a fourth year medical student. Cannot believe it. So on edge with MASH next week. Um, I'm in Texas and I also um, am finishing up my MPH during medical school. So that might be relevant to someone. And uh, um, I'm kind of revealing what I'm applying to soon, but it's more like primary care focus and trying to incorporate public health in my career. Awesome. Um, next person I see is Zara. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm in South Florida. Um, I'm a third year medical student and I'm currently interested in emergency medicine, um, but it changes like every day. <laughs> so stay tuned. Fair. And um, the last person I see here is Kenza. Hi, everyone. I'm Kenza. I'm a fourth year medical student. I'm actually here in Massachusetts and I am applying psychiatry. Maria is asking a question that I want to ask Zara. Um, it's about personal statements and um, how do you go about writing it and, and what tips do you have to make sure you have sort of like an impactful personal statement that people will remember? That's a great question. I think writing my personal statement was something that I really struggled with. Um, I had drafts and drafts and drafts. I had to have so many friends come and read it for me. Um, and I think that's like kind of the process that you do want to go through. You should have multiple drafts you should go to people and have them read it and, you know, get different perspectives because you might think that something sounds great and it might, but to someone else, it might not be as great. So you do want to get different perspectives because you don't know who the person reading it is and you don't know what they'll think of it. Right. Um, so to make it good, I think you should try to find an experience that really resonates with you because if you are passionate about it, it'll show in the way that you write about it. Um, so that's really important. And you want to find something, you know, that's a little bit more unique. Um, there's ways to make common, you know, general ideas more unique. So that's something that you want to do. Um, I really like the concept of telling it like a story. Um, you want to have like a really interesting hook and kind of get the reader really interested in what you're going to talk about. Um, and then at the end, you kind of just want to tie everything back together and, you know, bring it back to you and how this is relevant to you. So it's a process. Take your time with it. Um, get the help that you need. Many universities have writing centers. Um, so I would look into that as well. 